I grew up a Sega kid. My first console was the Genesis, and one of my first games I ever played was, of course, Sonic the Hedgehog. I love the blue blur. I've always defended him no matter how bad his games get, and I always will. I'm so hyped for the movie this weekend, and with that excitement brought nostalgia. I wanted to take a moment and go back to a game I haven't played since I was young. I'm a very sick dude, and welcome to the backlog. In this series, I go back through my overwhelmingly large library of games to see if it's a title I'll come back to now or in the future. Today we play the Sega classic, Sonic the Hedgehog. The 91 version, not the 06 controversy. Our game time was 20 minutes. <clears throat> Like I said, I love Sonic, but that doesn't mean I don't acknowledge the problems in his games. And Sonic 1 was no masterpiece. It's not that it was a bad game and that it doesn't have any merit. The problems come from its core gameplay loop. See, the Genesis had a lot of major strains over the Nintendo Entertainment System. Being released a few months before the Super NES, Sega tried its best to show off the blast processing of their console before the big end would get a chance to showcase their new system. The concept of the game is to clear levels by platforming at the speed of sound. You already know this, but you already know this. Fuck. Sonic is so synonymous with speed that its very name means related to audible speed, like a sonic boom or going supersonic. The problem therein is simple. How do you build a stage to give the player enough obstacles to give them a challenge, but enough time to deal with said obstacles? The answer depends on how you play the game. You can go against the very nature of its design and play it slower than Metal Gear Solid on European Extreme Difficulty, or you can do what the directors apparently wanted from you and go fast and pray you don't get blindsided with a cliff that leads to lava, or an enemy that hits you from seemingly off screen. It's frustrating because I'll be doing what I'm supposed to be doing, running around at the speed of sound and then I'll get punished for doing what the game wants me to do. The music in this game is still iconic and the stages are still memorable. Sonic's aesthetics have always been good. Well, almost always. How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? Sonic has so much potential. Every single time there's a new game, I have to convince myself not just to throw money at Sega in hopes that this is the one that turns it around. But it never is, is it? I hope the team behind Mania can crank out something truly original. Because Mania was good, I just wish it wasn't so much rehash and nostalgic. All in all, Sonic the Hedgehog is a game I'd love to come back to just to say I've beaten it. But other than the pride of saying I've done it, nothing brings me to say how I've missed the lovable blue blur. Thanks for watching! Let me know if you're interested in playing the OG Sonic title after hearing my thoughts on it in the poll in the corner, okay? Click subscribe for more news, reviews, and opinions similar to the ones you just listened to. I'll be back next week with a new episode of The Backlog because as we say, there are just too many games to ever play them all. Ta-ta for now. I wish for a mountain of handkerchiefs. Now, just let yourself cry as much as you need to. You'll have plenty of handkerchiefs to help you through it.